All right, this meeting is being recorded. I'm going to share my screen. And we're going to go ahead and get started. So you guys can, can see this. Go ahead and unmute yourselves. Can you, can you see uh, the page that I'm showing out of the, the handbook? Yes. OK, good. Yes, sir. OK, so there was several, several options that we could do for this testing week. The main thing I want to tell you, so I used to be a, a, a research analyst for Jack in the Box, which is a large fast food company here in San Diego. They have about 2,600 restaurants. So we would take products from ideas to actual rollout. So I've had some experience in launching products and doing this testing phase. The book had a big piece on SWOT, strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. I'm going to skip that. That's not a bad exercise, but it's really intended for an existing business to compare itself to other businesses. So we're mostly an idea and an application, so it didn't really apply, but I highlighted here what I wanted us to, to focus on. Market research, who are you going to target as your market? You see that highlighted here. And then a discussion about the technology that we're going to use to develop the prototype. So um, what I would start by saying about market research is it's an essential piece of the process of taking an, a, a, a product forward from idea to actual rollout. Uh, here's Starbucks. So they have a, um, a website where people can submit ideas. And they used to have a counter on how many ideas were submitted, but it's like 48,000 coffee ideas. So what's happening now, obviously, is businesses are using uh, social media platforms and their websites to gather intelligence, gather customer ideas for what they want. Um, as far as new products. We should always be talking to our customers about new product ideas. So here's Starbucks idea. Um, so whether it's gathering ideas, idea, idea generation, as we would call it in product management, the first step, or moving into idea evaluation, another step. Here's an old slide that I thought you might get a laugh out of um, from my Jack in the Box days. This is called a concept sort. A concept sort is where you show customers and you bring them into a room in a focus group setting. So there'd be like eight to 10 people in a focus group and you host several of these focus groups and you're basically just throwing out ideas to customers and asking them which ones would they be most interested in. So some of these products we already sold, those of you in San Diego are familiar with the, the croissant breakfast sandwich, but the rest of these are just ideas and we're getting customer feedback on those ideas. And the concept sort basically is which products rise to the top. So the testing and the research at this phase is talking to customers, showing them potential ideas, and getting their feedback. So for us, and what we're doing is we can kind of assume we've already done all that piece. Uh, we generated the idea, talking to customers. We talked about what type of app they were most interested in. And now we're, we're kind of moving forward. So uh, this piece here has got a bunch of links to uh, different pieces of information. Um, you see, I've, I've highlighted here qualitative and quantitative, and I'm not going to click on these lectures, but you can go to those if you want, and it gives you examples of these types of questions. So when we test, we're talking to customers. When we're talking to customers, we're asking them questions. When we're asking them questions, we tend to ask two types of questions. They're either qualitative or quantitative. I'm going to start with quantitative down below. Quantitative questions are quant numerical. These are question, the survey questions that all of us answer, like uh, what is your age? What is your gender? Um, would you like to buy this product? Yes or no? And with a quantitative question, your, your choices are a close-ended selection. 
would you buy this product? Yes or no? Or how likely are you to buy this product on a scale of one to five, from one never to five always? Quantitative rolls up into uh, easy to, to summarize information, such as 80% of people said yes, they would buy this product. So that's quantitative. Quantitative tells you essentially, do we have an opportunity with this product idea or a problem? Or like it's not really ready to go to, you know, people aren't interested in it yet. So that's quantitative. It kind of takes the temperature of the room. And then we move into qualitative, which tells you why do people think the room is hot in the, or cold in the first place. So qualitative questions are open-ended questions. Tell me why you would buy this product. Or tell me why you wouldn't buy this product. And they're going to give you more uh, detailed answers on that. So ideally, if we were doing this in the real world, and we were doing some testing and submitting surveys to customers and getting feedback, we would use a mix of quantitative questions, which are statistically valid. 80% of the people said yes, they would buy this product, or 80% said they would not. And then qualitative, which is the why piece behind that. So to give you an example, This is Google Forms. And this is a tool that we could put together if we want, because part of this testing stage for stage five is we go out and talk to experts or actual potential customers. In the age of COVID-19 and quarantine, obviously what we can do is limited. But Google Forms, and just, uh, you can unmute your mics. How many have ever used Google Forms? I have. It's free. It's an awesome tool. Uh, sounds like Oscar's, was that Oscar or was that Max? That was me, Oscar. Okay, I can't see anybody right now, so. Too. Okay, good. So for the OnBar students, uh, Google Forms is a free tool that enables you to quickly and easily develop surveys. And you can develop these surveys, and then it generates a, a URL link, and you can send it out via email, via WhatsApp, whatever you want to use, and people respond. What's great about Google Forms is uh, it tallies up the responses for you automatically. So here you see my results. I have one person who responded to my survey. It was me, <laughs> since I was just testing it. Um, but you see, I have two questions here. My first question is, would you download and use this free app? Yes or no? So in the chat feature, if you want to go ahead and put that in there, is that quantitative or qualitative? It's quantitative. Quantitative, there's yeah. quantitative they have to select a specific answer, yes or no. You can see quantitative questions are easy to roll up into, hey, 80% said this. The second question down there is, let me change my screen view a little bit here. Uh, if you answered no to the previous question, please describe why you would not download and use this free application. And here people are gonna type in their responses, right? It's harder to tabulate that type of information because you have to kind of scrape through the data and find feedback. But what I want you guys to capture out of testing is through each stage of the product from an idea to evaluating the idea to getting ready to roll out the idea, you should be doing testing at each phase, talking to customers. The businesses should have some structure, some method for engaging with customers ongoing, not just customer service stuff, but certainly with new product development. And, and then you're reacting accordingly. And there's all these great tools that you can use now. So, um, so back to the assignment, market research. Research the current market and develop an advertising strategy. Who are you going to target as your market? And I highlighted that piece. Who are you going to target as your market? So let's go there. Okay, 
Sorry for bouncing around on the screen here. Just checking my notes here. So the question I wanted to put out to all of you, and I thought this would be a nice exercise for you to all respond on Slack, as opposed to taking up the call time here, because I know Oscar's got some stuff and Zanib has some stuff to share. Um, uh, but the question I want to put out to you, which customer segment, and I'm highlighting it right now, which customer segment do you want to target for this application? Our initial response as marketers is we would say, well, everybody, of course, everybody's our target. Everybody needs this application. And that's true. However, marketers typically try to segment out the audience into several different specific targets because the product features might be slightly different from one target to another and the marketing message might be different from one target to another. So going back to our biz, business model canvas that we did in the prior week, and here's that monstrous document. I put this together and posted on Slack, and you guys may or may not have had a chance to look at it, but um, we, we completed the assignment as far as putting together a business model canvas. But part of it here was, item six are customer segments. And so I went ahead and, and put together some suggested customer segments. And what I would like you all to think about, and hopefully you have time to discuss this on Slack, is thinking about this application, which two targets, just for an academic exercise, if we had to pick two target markets, which two targets do you think would be the best ones after. I know this sounds a little uh, morbid, I guess, given that we're in a pandemic crisis. So talking about like marketing a product in that sense can sound a little odd, but for the exercise, we can see different markets here, like people under 18, youth, they're not necessarily in the workforce. So as we're all quarantined, those folks aren't necessarily worried about keeping their job. They don't have a job yet, but they are concerned about staying connected. So here the concern for that target is keeping you connected. Whereas uh, all of you, college students, uh, you might already be working part-time, certainly here in, in the US, most of our college students are working. Um, but their concern is about progress. So maybe our marketing message is keeping you safe and productive. Then we move on, working adults who don't have kids, they wanna keep working. Parents who have kids and everybody's home, they're concerned about their kids and keeping everybody safe. Seniors, those 65 plus, even though the science is saying that uh, the death rates in or people in the hospital are actually, many of them aren't above 65. It's, it's pretty much everybody. But most seniors are considering themselves more at risk, so their concerns are about not dying. Those are users of the app. And then we also have other potential customers, large organizations, like selling the app directly to a country or to the Center for Disease Control or uh, the World Health Organization. So those could also be targets. So what I'd like to throw out as a suggested exercise, so we have some activity on Slack and it makes us look good with um, our global partners, is if you had to pick two targets from this kind of suggested list, uh, which ones would they be? Because we pick those targets and then we do some testing with those specific targets. That's the first part. And the second part was, uh, so I, I was going to suggest the leaders uh, of each group to maybe work on this piece and you could each put something on Slack or you could um, just do it as a group if you like. And then researchers, which technology or engineering tools will we use to develop this application prototype? So wireframes is a common software that's used to design apps. Uh, that's like an umbrella term, uh, wireframes. But here's a link, and I put this in red. 
which students want to research. If we could get a couple of students to volunteer themselves, and if you haven't done um, uh, anything yet, this would be a good one to do, to research some of these tools, uh, software tools for designing applications, because that satisfies this piece here, technology research, research, research and experiment with technology and or engineering tools that support the development of the prototype. So you can unmute yourself on your mics. Anybody want to volunteer themselves to, and I provided a suggested link here, to do some research on which app development tool would you suggest? Like you don't have to do it now, but you could maybe uh, do some research and post it on Slack. I think me and Saif, since we're the research head, heads of the research and the team should be responsible for this. Awesome, okay, thank you, Max, okay. Um, there we go, my friends. So that was the main stuff I wanted to cover. I didn't want to take up too much time. And now I wanted to pitch it over to uh, either uh, Zaneeb, you had some stuff to cover, and then Oscar was going to talk about some of the prototype design stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and unshare my screen so I can't see everybody right now. And stop share and pitch it over to you guys. And if you have any questions, we can uh, ask questions about what I just covered, but I just want to explain kind of some of the steps that uh, companies go through on the testing phases. Okay. Um, Before that, uh, Sarsad, but uh, do you mean by the couple of researcher from the, the researcher of the group and with his partner or of the same uh, group? I mean, do you mean that uh, there should be uh, another volunteer with the, with the researcher from the same group? Oh, um, it sounded like Max was going to work with Saif and uh, oh. if there's other partners on the Anbar side, we can do that. No, that's, that's good. Okay, Max would say. Okay. So the other two things that I wanted you all to discuss, so did you guys understand you got your marching orders, the which target markets put some information on Slack? Yes. Okay. And then uh, we can either have Oscar and, and, and your counterparts talk about the prototype designs or Zaneeb, yeah. if you want to talk about some of the research you've been doing. Um, Z Zaneeb, if you're on, maybe you can go first so we don't, uh, step over each other on, on talking and uh, okay about the prototype you mean uh, I mean the prototype uh, they talk only about the design of the application itself not uh, about the whole prototype and, uh, I think maybe the mist it will be the the mist section and the, the prototype uh, I mean it will be it should be uh, just like a diagram that show our work, uh, our discussion about the problem, just like the diagram that I shared in, on the Slack. Then, then in the same uh, prototype, we will uh, conclude the uh, the, di uh, the design of, of Oscar and Yusra and Saif in the same prototype, just uh, another section. Then we will conclude, uh, sorry, we will include the, the, the sections that they uh, mentioned and explained in it also. Okay. Okay, because, because I asked uh, another participant that uh, she participated before in the same program and uh, said, uh, said that uh, it should be conclude or it should be uh, contain all the steps that you followed before and what's the solution that you reveal. Yeah, so I, we were discussing that on uh, Slack, but I, I, from my understanding from last week's um, meeting, which uh, what what you and Christina said that um, 
this week was was about designing the, app, the actual um, homepage of the app, right? Okay. Yes, I think so. Because that was the assignment today. Because is, is it, 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 please correct me if I'm wrong or anything, but isn't what uh, Zainab describing is the whole picture of what we're doing? Or is, is it just like that week? No, she means the whole picture. The whole picture, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, because I um, I mean, so on uh, last Friday I was designing the um the 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 homepage with uh Saif, Yusra, and Maha, and yes. they they made some pretty pretty good like uh so they made a logo um which I should have uh, sent beforehand. It was beautiful. I, I loved it. Um, even the the loading screen of it, it was beautiful. I really loved it. Um, but we didn't um, for some reason we couldn't really communicate again. Um, so from I took away everything that that we that we talked about and i put in a little sketch and i do apologize it's really rough um it, it, you know <laughs> with, with everything that was you know that was going on here and just like organizing all these you know you know all these classes that i have and, and so it, it was really rough but this is the idea that that we came up with um at the at the um at the meeting and I, I know I do apologize. I'm not as talented as um. It's okay. It's good. This, oh, no. is, this is prototype. Okay. Yeah. It's okay. No problem. Yeah. Okay. No <laughs> but the idea no. is um, is to is to identify locations, um, of um yes. of that has been you know uh, exposed to uh, COVID nineteen. So the main interface here would be a map. A map here, and I'm trying to uh, draw. I, that was my attempt at drawing of uh, Oceanside, of, yes. of everything, and then Carl's bed right here. And, you know, it was really, it was really, um, you know, really. Well. But here's the map that's that shows the the identification of of exposure to COVID-19, and here you would have a search bar up here where you're able to search of uh, locations that has been exposed or that's been identified at least. Um, Maha, I believe, had the idea of safe locations just to make it a little bit easier um, to to um, just to see w w which locations are safe. And then yes. to your right, right here is a news uh, from all over from NBC, Fox, CNN, um, WHO, uh, CBS, and the CDC just for the latest news and updates for uh, COVID-19. Um, the main button right here would be um, identifying yourself in as self isolation. So whenever, you know, people are, are you know, um, and just, you know, want to say like, oh, okay, like I, I may have contracted, I'm, I'm you know, I, whoever wants to identify themselves as self isolation or possibly, you know, be infected with um, the COVID-19 virus. And then to, at least to my left, I'm not sure if it's backwards for you guys, I do apologize that, uh, will be nearby hospitals. Uh, so if any emergency does happen, uh, you will have a button right here that shows um, the nearby hospitals, um, you know, nearby you. That way, you know, it can be a little bit more safer. And then uh, one of my counterparts as well, I think it was Maha or Saif, had the idea of emergency numbers. So if you had an emergency, it would be a fast and easy way to contact, you know, the emergency numbers. Oh, obviously, over here in America, it's 911. But there is uh, different, you know, types of emergency or or, or non, non, you know, um, non-essential emergency. I want to say. Um, yes. So you will have that button right there, uh, just to have like you, you know another, another, uh, I, you know, another way to contact people um, for help. So for uh, Oscar's speech, I, I have to uh, show you uh, my uh, design. It's just uh, like a cover or a sketch. I made. Uh, one hour ago. So I'm going to share my screen with you. So, do you see this app? Yes. This is the logo. Yes, and the the logo right we, can't, there. <laughs> we can't change all of this. Made another logo and another name. So, when I open the app, this is the loading page. Uh, actually, I'm sorry uh, for the errors on the organization, so I made it uh, quickly. Uh, I'm uh, so sorry. So this is uh, what uh, about uh, what uh, Oscars talk about. This is the map. 
here, uh, search location, I forget to put uh, the safe places and near the hospital. So the slice screen, this, this one, sorry, you can hear. This is the logo of our Mercosta College and University of Ambar here. You can put uh, the news section and reports of our, what about uh, some information about the app. This is what uh, we discussed uh, last week. Yes. I think just uh, for our, uh, don't worry about the organization and the colors, we can change all of this. That's, That's great. Right. Wow. I'm impressed. <laughs> I am too. That's really good. That's all. Is there a way, Saif, to uh, take screenshots of that and we can post it on Slack so we can include that in our, our, our work that we're sharing with Global? Actually, I sent it uh, one hour ago to Oscar. Okay. Did you send me on Slack? Uh, okay. Yes. Okay. okay, I'm going to uh, share it on a uh, channel. And go general, on yes. Channel. Yes. Awesome. So we're actually doing pretty well on actually moving through the steps of the project. I'm going to share my screen. Uh, thank you, uh, Oscar and Saif. That's, that's great stuff. So I want to share my screen just one more time and talk about what's left. So here's where we uh, Here's what we have left, the three deliverables that we have to do, and we can pick which one of these we want to do. Again, Global understands that everybody's quarantined, things have changed, so we can do what we can do. And uh, these are the three deliverables that were in the packet for week six. Uh, our final business concept, we have written something up, uh, developing our pitch, which is a short kind of infomercial, you know, commercial, how we're going to present this idea. And then a video, uh, develop a video of our, our product. So uh, I was talking with Majit earlier before the call started. And the idea we were going to suggest is that we just schedule another Zoom call and in that Zoom call, all the attendees present a piece of the project proposal. Um, kind of like what we did today, we could share screens, but we would need to kind of divide up and I'm happy to put together a suggested outline, but we would need to kind of divide up each person's section of the video pitch. We can do it with Zoom, we can record it, and then submit that. And, and that would that would that would satisfy. So th that would be kind of our, our last our last piece, our last step. And I think we have to submit some there must be I'm gonna check with Christina, but we have something that we have to formally that we have to submit as a document as well. Um, so I'll, I'll, I will take that on me to, to put together an outline and clarify what we need to submit. Um, what else? Questions, uh, ideas? The process doesn't complete it, right? Say again. Now the prototype uh, doesn't complete it yet. It's not come yet. It, right? And, uh, and we, we should complete it before, before the ending of, of the fifth week. Uh, at, at the same time, we, we should work on your plan. So it will be the two walks in the same uh, week, yeah. Uh, because you know that uh, every week it has its own requirements that should be done. 
But uh, uh, in the last week, before the week uh, uh, of, of the internet, the, some confused of misunderstanding about the prototype. So we being somehow late uh, of uh, sharing it on Slack. And you know that uh, then the, the video that uh, you talk now about, uh, the video will show program uh, administers uh, how accurate the work is. So it should be contain all, all the, the works uh, that we working, uh, that we uh, done before. Uh, even the screen about our calls, uh, even the screen of, uh, of, the, of the student. I mean, I mean uh, your, uh, your picture on the Slack because we make the same video before uh, about the environment or uh, something how, uh, near of it. Of it. Uh, I mean, something will be con uh, contain all the steps that we done and that we will uh, do it. Uh, uh, a difficult uh, task, sorry, but inshallah we will uh, do it together. Yeah, this is this is your guys' group project, so the final submission and what you guys want to turn in is is really up for all of you to decide. And um, I know Anthony's not on the call today, but he's uh, the leader on the Miracosta side. But um, Probably a good next step is maybe, maybe uh, uh, Zanib and Anthony have some discussion as far as what we want to submit as the final. I think Global's going to be understanding if we have you know, rough prototypes. Um, I think what Saif put together was fantastic, but if you want to develop it further, that's, that's good. There's, there's lots of learning through that process. So um, we should probably set a deadline. That's like kind of the last thing I would say as far as this call. We should probably set a deadline for when we want to um, submit everything. We, we obviously, we'll have another call next Tuesday. And I actually haven't looked to see what our deadline is. I've been getting so many emails, um, but I know it's next week. I think it's probably the end of next week. Um, Can you scroll back up to the, uh, the research questions? Yeah. Oh, am I still sharing? Okay, yes. Uh, there you go, wait. Yeah, there we go. Let me just write that down. And I'll share this document out again on Slack. So I'm taking some notes here. So the next steps that I have down for us is all participants will communicate on Slack which targets they want to go after, which target markets and then uh, Max and um, I'm sorry I forget who the your counterpart is okay we'll uh, do some work on which soft which app they want which software they want to use to if they're officially going to develop the prototype and uh, Zanib was saying that we should uh, finalize the prototype. And then I need to get some dates out on submission. How do you guys feel about what kind of final product you want to submit? Maybe we could just take turns going around on that. Like is, is the video acceptable to everybody? Do you want to do something else or? I feel good about it. Um, you know, as long as we, you know, we, we all feel, you know, I, I like the idea of it. I like how, you know, how far we got along with it. So I, I like it. That's Oscar. Somebody else? 
Make sure you unmute your mics. Zainab, Saif, anybody else? Mustafa? Sorry, sir, can you repeat the question? Because they are confused. Yes, please, Nate, repeat your question, please. Okay, yes, sorry. So the question is for what we consider our final submitted project is the video an acceptable submission or do you want to submit something else? I think the video. Uh, I like the video submission, but video submission. but uh, Nate, uh, as we talked uh, before the, the Zoom, uh, we cannot create a video because you know uh, the team, my team is separated because of the quarantine. So I, I prefer the idea of a Zoom call. Okay. Okay. Max, Yuri, anybody else? No, I don't have any questions. Okay. Okay. All right. Well, we can wrap early. So thank you, everybody. I appreciate uh, the Miracosta folks getting up early. Uh, Umbar students, so uh, it's good to see all your faces. I'm glad everybody's healthy and safe. So hang in there. It's odd times, but it's nice that we can have this project to kind of keep us sane with moving something forward. And um, so make sure you jump onto Slack and provide your input about which audiences you think we should go after. And then Max and Saif will do some research on uh, which software applications to use to develop the application. And um, Oscar, we could even take a picture of your uh, sketch. And we can post that. All, all, our, all our work is fair game to post on Slack. So, and then Saif's uh, excellent design work. Uh, if we could also get that posted on Slack, that would be fantastic. Okay. Uh, excuse okay, me. Why not? Go ahead. Um, uh, uh, about the diagram that Zainab talked about it, I will uh, work on it and uh, design it. And if I face any problem, I will uh, share uh, it with uh, Oscar and Safe, and we'll solve it together. Okay. Excellent. Excellent. Thank you, Yusra. Welcome. So, sir, okay, everybody. Sorry. Uh, do you agree to submit uh, both of them, the design of Oscar and Saif, and the design of the diagram of Yusra on the slide? Is it okay? Yes. Okay. Uh, okay, thanks. Okay, well, I'm, gonna, um, I'm going to stop share and I'm going to go ahead and um, end the meeting and I will um, send out a recording of this video and post that on Slack as well. You guys are fantastic. I appreciate all your work. Hang in there. We'll get through this together. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Okay. Thanks for having okay. me. Okay. Thank you. Thank you.